The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. And guys, today what we're going to be taking a look at is some of the changes that have happened here in Madden and how the most recent tuning update actually affected specific things in the passing game. So what I want to do guys is show you a little bit of a glitch. I, I don't think this is how it was in intended to happen. So I want to find something on here. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, go in here and I'm going to show you guys kind of an example of one of the errors that I think is happening here in the game. Now this didn't necessarily come from me. I have done some experimenting. Uh, this was actually kind of found over on the Madden Ultimate Team subreddit. So I want you guys to go over there and check that out. Just go over to Reddit and type in Madden Ultimate Team. It should bring you to the subreddit and then you guys are going to find some great information there there's a lot of people that share really good information there um so definitely go check that one out i want to give a shout out to that subreddit now guys what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go in and we're i'm going to actually find something out of my recent place here and see if i can uh find anything no never mind uh i forget which formation that i was freaking in of course uh but let's see here we just got to find something there we go we'll find slants middle out of gun split cowboy okay so i'm just using the cowboys playbook this can really happen with any play playbook. It doesn't particularly matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick slants middle. And then we're going to pick random play on defense. It doesn't really matter. So the normal camera angle that I have is this. I'm going to actually pull it back to this camera angle so that you guys can see a little bit more of the field. Uh, because we're going to need that for when we're actually showing how this works. So basically, guys, this is the standard play art, right? We've got two guys on the right there. Everybody's running slants, and then we've got the two guys out of the backfield just running uh, simple out patterns out of the out of the backfield. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys kind of what would happen if I took Cole Beasley and I pulled him in motion. So watch how his route changes here. As soon as he gets to the opposite side of the center, his route will actually change to go to the opposite side. So this is really common. This happens all the time in Madden. Now, what it's going to happen here, again, we're going to put him back here, and it's going to change back. So what I'm going to do is show you guys kind of an example of what people were doing before. So before they updated the game and they did the tuning update, what you could do is you could take any receiver, and we're going to do it with Cole Beasley, and we're going to put him on a uh, – we're going to audible him and do a hot route, and we're going to put him onto a hot streak – or excuse me, a hot fade, excuse me. So right analog stick up. And what that's going to do, you can see here out of the out of the slot, he's going to run that fade route. So what people were doing is that they were taking and they were hiking the ball while he was in motion. And what was ending up happening was that he was getting basically a speed burst and just burning the defender. So what they did is they actually changed it so that you can't really do that anymore. However, the problem is that they actually changed it and they might have made it even more glitchy. Because watch what's going to happen here. So I'm going to have, remember, by the way, remember what would happen on his standard route here. On his standard route, I'm just going to show the play art again. That's the standard route that he was running, okay? So I, I audibled him, and now he's on that, that fade route. When I pull him over to the left side of the field, if I hike the ball while he's still in motion, watch what's going to happen. Boom. He's going to stop, and he's going to pause, and then he's going to end up actually running that out route. Now, I get sacked there because I didn't have any sort of protection, but we'll try it again here. So I'm going to I'm gonna block these guys in the backfield so we get a little bit better protection here. Um, actually, we'll just do a, a protect all. Now, again, I'm going to take Beasley and put him on that streak. And as soon as we put him in motion, no one followed this time, so it should be even a little bit more open. He's going to pause, and boom. Look at that. Really, really dirty. If he, if you would have thrown that a little bit more effectively, you're gonna see that it, you're basically getting a speed slant out from this. Now, the slant, in my opinion, is one of the most overpowered routes in Madden to begin with. So again, watch what's gonna happen here. We're gonna put him in motion, and he's and he's gonna run that slant pattern to the outside instead of to the inside. And it's taken a second for him to develop that. Boom. Well, he threw an interception there, but you're getting the idea here, guys, right? So here it is again, guys. One more time, this is against a defense that it should absolutely toast. We'll see if it ends up happening. But um, you're going to see here he's going to run that out route, and boom, wide open, easy peasy. This should be a touchdown, and he's going to get into the end zone. So very, very easy. Uh, it's not difficult to do. All you're going to do is just start mashing that X button, and uh, you're, basically gonna, you're basically just going to wait for him to get into the right position, which is right before he's set, right there, and boom. 
Now we hike the ball, and it's an easy completion. So, again, obviously Dak Prescott's not the best quarterback in Madden, so he's going to throw things a little bit ineffectively here. And I'm just showing it with a slant. This works with other things as well. A lot of those routes that change from one side of the field to the other, like when you audible or if you pull the receiver to one, one side to the other, and it changes it so that it flips it, they if you do this with any of those – uh, if any of those routes, it will stay in the way that the play was originally designed. So that makes it really, really effective. You can create some interesting route concepts from it. And I just wanted to show you guys that because I think that this is going to be something that a lot of people end up using. My guess is that this was unintended, but I don't know for sure. I really, really don't know for sure. It's very possible that they decided to do this for whatever reason. Um, and you can see there too, by the way, guys, I wanted to point out another thing. It kind of seems like the defense just doesn't react to them when they do the, the little pause there. Watch it one more time here, especially if it's man coverage, which this one isn't, unfortunately. Uh, but when it's man coverage, go back and watch that. It basically looks like the defense just does not even react to them being there on the field. So I don't know why that is, but it's definitely a really, really effective thing to do. <laughs> so um, I, I want you guys to try it out. Let me know what you think. This guy's going to come with me in man coverage here. So let's try it one more time here. Watch him. He's just not reacting quick enough. And then we just basically get an automatic, you know, five, eight yard gain there on that route. So again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That is going to do it for this one. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm not somebody that typically brings gameplay videos like as far as like tips and tricks and things like that. But I think this one is a really, really effective one, and it's pretty easy to do. You don't have to be a Madden expert to try it out. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.